Okay, we will talk here about the future. The world population is day by day increasing and the standard, standard of life of the wealthy fraction in developed and developing countries is also increasing. As a consequence, energy and mineral resources per capita decline steadily. Increased efficiency and renewable sources of energy cannot provide any stable solution to the problems generated by the growth business as usual paradigm. This is not new in the world's history. Societies grow and decline. When resources become scarce or when they are finally used up, transition and descent cannot be avoided. We may like it or not. The Roman Empire lasted for more than one millennium, then collapsed because of its resource basis was not large enough to support its increased size. It's a general trend. All systems follow oscillating patterns of growth, climax, descent, and slow restoration. It is difficult for us to recognize the long pulsing cycle of which we are part, while instead we recognize the shorter pulsing cycles of ecosystems. According to this pulsing paradigm, not even a steady state economy is possible in the long run. Sustainability is not reaching a plateau and trying to keep it stable forever, but instead it deals with adapting our lifestyle to resource oscillation. If human societies are regulated by the same principles as other ecosystems and species on Earth, then it would not be a good policy for sustainability to paddle countercurrent, trying to force societies to grow when resources are scarce or to descend when resources are abundant. Instead, it would be a good policy to recognize the descent ahead and begin managing for it to be prosperous. It can still be growth, but not quantitative. Having been thought that more is beautiful and that GDP must grow, we are hardly able to conceive other values for growth that are available, community values, shared goods, clean and healthy environment, among others. As surprising as it may be, we do not have yet a word to specifically refer to qualitative growth. The proposed terms always bear some negative meaning as degrowth or way down or downsizing, as M. Schumacher wrote, replacing an emptiness with another emptiness. Words are not neutral, and they have a built-in judgment of value according to the dominating paradigm. An effort is needed to find not only a new thermodynamics of sustainability, new energy sources, but also a new sustainability discourse, a new mode of organizing knowledge, ideas, experience, and language around shared values based on qualitative, not quantitative, growth.